morning. You can all hear me comfortably. Let me begin with some introductions. I am Deepak Fatak. I am teacher here and the principal investigator of the National Mission Project under which we are organizing these internships. Uh, my colleague, Professor Avinash Aute, uh, he is an advisor to the project. He started advising us when I started the Eklavya project many years ago and he continues to do that. And the entire organization of the summer internship is handled by him and his large team of people, which includes many of our senior managers from different projects. To begin with, I would like a brief introduction by each and every person. Hello, sir, and hello, all the managers. Uh, I'm Anushri Garg. Uh, I'm from LNMIIT, third year computer science branch. And as far as non-technical activities are concerned, um, I have, I'm an active member of the placement cell of my college. The e-cell of my college, I had been the coordinator, like this year, my term ended. And I've also been involved in sports like uh, badminton, etc. And uh, I, I like to stay involved in all the activities of the college as well as my curriculum. So that's it about me. Thank you, Thank sir. you. Uh, hello, everyone. I won't take much time. Uh, my name is Rakshata Vajay. I'm from MBM Engineering College, Jodhpur. And I'm the dance coordinator of my college. So I like to dance and read novels. Good. Good morning, everybody. This is Marathi Sukanya. And I'm from Balaji Institute of Technology, Varangal. I'm very much interest, interested to solve puzzle games. And uh, I'm coordinator of dance also. Good morning, sir. I'm Kavleen Kalra from MBM Engineering College, Jodhpur. And I love listening music and solving Sudoku puzzles. Hi, everyone. My name is Gaurav Mittal. I'm from IIT Europa, Computer Science Branch, second year. And I love reading novels and playing video games. Hello, everyone. I'm Rakshit Singla from IIT Hyderabad, second year CSE. I love playing cricket and computer games, and I'm an active member of the marketing team of my college fest. Good morning, sir. I'm Mancha Imtiaz from Amity School of Engineering, Anoida, and, uh, and I'm a part of dramatics team of my college, and I also play hockey besides, uh, and I want to pursue uh, MS in future. Uh, I'm Bhargavi Paranspe. I'm from IIT Kharagpur, uh, second year CSE. Uh, my hobbies are playing uh, the guitar and reading novels. Good morning, everybody. My name is Jyotsna Prasad. I am from KIIT University. I'm from, uh, I'm in CSE branch, third year. My hobbies are playing badminton and listening to music. Good morning, everyone. I am Suman from KIIT, Bhumneshwar, and I'm from third year B Tech. And my and I'm an active member of NSS and my college. Good morning, everyone. I'm Aishi Gaur from BBD SJ Lucknow. I am a very active member of my cultural community of the college, and I like reading novels. And I'm um, in sports. I play basketball. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vishakha Gupta. I'm from ABV Triple ITM Gwalior. I like reading novels, and also I'm an active member in cultural fairs. Uh, good morning, all. This is Purva Bansal. Uh, I'm from LNM IIT. Uh, I like playing volleyball. I'm the coordinator of volleyball, and I like uh, listening to music. Good morning, everyone. I'm Palak Agrawal from LNM IIT Jaipur, second year CSE, and uh, I like m listening to music. And I'm an active member of my uh, Computer Science Club. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Chandana from NITK Suratkal, and I'm a member of Artist Forum and Star Gazing Club in the college. Good morning, everyone. I'm Poonam Kumari from uh, NIT Durgapur, third year, CSE branch, and uh, I am an active member of Prakti Club in NIT Durgapur. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I'm Parishmita Basu from National Institute of Technology, Durgapur. I'm from the third year in the Electronics and Communication Department. And I'm a dancer. I'm a part of the dance club of my college. Thank you. Good morning, sir, and my dear friends. Uh, I am Sukalyan Thakat from NIT Durgapur, third year IT department. I like to play music. I like to listen to songs. I like to play football. Even I like uh, com playing computer games and solving puzzles. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Ankit Kumar from NIT Nagpur. I play music, music and counter strikes and NFS. I am from from third year and computer science department. Thank you. Good morning. I am Aditya Ambarde from VNIT Nagpur. Uh, I am interested in dramatics and in future I would like to uh, do an MS and open my own company. Morning, everyone. My name is Lavish Kothari. I am from MBM Engineering College, Jodhpur. IT third year and I like uh, listening music, reading mathological books and solving puzzles. Good morning, everyone. I am. Samrit Kumar, third year EC from ITR 
Bhuneshwar. I love playing snooker and listening to music. Good morning, everyone. I am Sunandini Sanyal from NIT Durgapur, third year CSC. I love playing badminton and I listen to good music. Uh, I also love singing. Thank you. Good morning, all. This is Asta Jalani from NIT Bhopal. I love to do competitive coding and love to listen to music. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ashish Kumar Singh. I am from NIT Nagaland. Um, I like to play like music and play cricket and do competitive coding. Good morning, guys. I am Ankush Aroda from NIT Goa, third year CSE department. I love music. Good morning, everyone. I am Prashant Gupta from ABB Triple Team Gwalior. I play Counter Strike and Badminton, and I am currently pursuing dual degree program in ABB Triple Team Gwalior, B Tech plus M Tech. Good morning, everyone. My name is Adil Hussain. I am from NIT Sikkim. Uh, I like to listen to music and play computer games, and my aim is to become an entrepreneur. Thank you. Good morning to all. My name is Amardeep Singh, and I am from VGTI Mumbai. I like playing cricket and read, uh, reading religious scriptures. Uh, thank you. Morning, sir. My name is Naman Taneja from second year CAC, ISM Dhanbad, and my uh, hobbies are reading novel and solving logical reason, reasoning questions. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ashish Kumar from ISM Dhanbad, electronics third year. I love, uh, I love to play chess, and I'm also part of the NSS. Good morning, everyone. I'm Ashish Kedia from MITK Suratkal, uh, second year IT student. I uh, like competitive coding, uh, stargazing, and playing guitar. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jayam Modi. I am from SVNIT Surat, third year computer engineering, and my hobbies include playing lawn tennis. Myself, Shubham Garg from SVNIT Surat. And I am also third year EC student, and my hobbies are playing chess and solving Sudoku puzzles. Good morning, everyone. I am Piyush Mahajan from IIT Gandhinagar, third year electrical. Uh, my hobbies include playing football and listening to music. Good morning, everyone. I am Rajat Goel from NIT Uttarakhand. I am an active member of training and placement department of my college, and I love playing chess. Uh, myself, Som Pathak. I am from SNIT Surat, and I am a swimmer and a badminton player. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ankur Garg, a CSC student, second year student from IIT Roorkee. My hobbies are playing cricket and competitive coding. Myself, Ronaksha, I'm from uh, VNIT Nagpur, and my hobbies are playing chess and reading books. Good morning, everyone. I'm Samir Sonone from VNIT Nagpur. I am an event manager of my college technical festival and also a student mentor in my department. Good morning, everyone. I'm a second year CSE student from VNIT Nagpur. I love to play computer games and chess. Hello, everyone. I'm Shreya Malik. I just completed my second year at Birla Institute of Technology, Mestra. Uh, I love to read, listen to music, watch way too many TV series, and I also like to swim. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Himalini Sharma from Verla Institute of Technology, Jaipur. I'm into reading, writing, and painting. Good morning, everyone. My name is Suchi Sharma. I'm from Verla Institute of Technology, Jaipur, and from Electronics and Communication Department, third year. And I like to read and listen to music. Good morning, everyone. I'm Raki Kumari from Jabalpur Engineering College, Madhya Pradesh. I love to listening music and watching movies and also singing. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Sampath. I'm from IIT Roorkee, second year, completed. Uh, interests are music and cricket. Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Srilila from uh, Gitam University, Vishakhapatnam. My hobbies are playing badminton and throwball. Good morning, everyone. I'm Vishali, doing BTEC IT in MIT, Chennai. And I love I'm passionate towards Carnatic music. Hello everyone, I'm Samir Ranjan from NIT Raurkela, third year CSE. Uh, I like listening to music and playing computer games. Hello everyone, my name is Diyavandar Rao, third year undergraduate CS department, NIT Raurkela. Uh, my hobbies include watching series a lot, uh, listening to music, playing guitar, and playing basketball. Hello everyone, I'm Ankit Kumar from NIT Raurkela, uh, third year computer science department. I am a coordinator of the journalist body of my institute, and I, my hobbies are Playing, uh, uh, playing computer games, listening to music, and painting. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. This is Rajeshi Sarkar from Billa Institute of Technology, Masra. Uh, my hobbies are playing cricket and listening to songs. Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Satvik Shah from NIT Jaipur. My uh, hobbies are gaming, and I'm uh, part of the robotics and research group of my college. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. I'm Harsh Sharma from NIT Jaipur. And my hobbies include listening music and playing computer games. Hello, everyone. I'm Sonia Vimatthew from National Institute of Technology, Calicut. Uh, I love reading books, and I'm a member of 
Industrial and Planning Forum in my college. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Vishnu Priya. I'm second year computer science from NIT Calicut. And uh, I love reading books, and I play throw ball, and I'm an active member of uh, our college CSE. And one day, I would like to own a well-reputed company, and that's my ambition. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Banani Medi from NIT Silchar, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, third year. I'm a Visharan in vocational Indian classical music. I read, and I write articles and poems. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I am Pallavi Reddy from CET Bhuneshwar, third year CSE. I love dancing. I love playing computer games. I love watching TV series. Actually, I love a lot of everything. Every day, I always look for something new to learn. That is my passion. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Abhiruchi Gupta, and I'm from Triple IT Allahabad, second year IT. I've organized various college events in my, uh, and, uh, and is an active team member of food committee and decoration committee of my college. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mansi Avasi. I'm from Triple IIT Allahabad, second year IT. And uh, I love reading novels and uh, dancing, basically. Good morning, good morning, everyone. My name is Shubham Utwal, and my hobbies are playing football. Myself, Kaushik Bhagwatkar from VNIT Nagpur, and I love cricket and music. Good morning, everyone. I'm from VNIT Nagpur, just completed my third year. Uh, interested in uh, music and playing guitar. Good morning, my name is Sachin Sabre. I am from VNIT Nagpur, completed third year, and my hobbies are playing table tennis and computer games. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I am Tejasi Latkar from VNIT. I completed second year, and uh, I love singing, and music is my passion. Good morning, everyone. My name is Megha Grival. I am from NIT Jaipur, third year from Electronics and Communication branch. My hobbies are playing volleyball and the designing or drawing. Good morning, everyone, and I'm Janki from Dimbaram, that is Andhra Pradesh, and I am interested in uh, passionate about the new technologies, and I have been coming from Andhra Pradesh. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kushbu Agrawal from NIT Durgapur, and I love to paint, and I also love to provide uh, assistance towards the uh, underprivileged children of my society. As a result, I am the active member of Bihari Moor Education Project of my college, and I'm also the part of the core cell of Center of Cognitive Activities of my college. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Rishabh Dabral from Triple IT Jabalpur, and my passions include being involved in literary activities and graphic designing and digital art. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tanma Garwal from IIT BHU, third year electronics. My hobbies include robotics and playing table tennis. Good morning, everyone. I am Shobha Saksara from NIT Kurukshetra, third year computer engineering department. And I am into reading novels and playing table tennis and competitive programming. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Myself, Ayush Agarwal. I am from CSC student from NIT Bhopal. I love to play chess, football, and cricket. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Sanjana Dhankani, and I come from Georgia Tech, Atlanta. Uh, and um, I like helping other people grow professionally and personally. And I'm involved uh, with uh, IEEE and Society of Women Engineers. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Akanksha. I'm from NIT Raurkela, third year CSE. Uh, I love to do swimming, read novels, and I'm an active member of the robotics club of my college. Good morning, everyone. My name is Diganta Jana. I'm from NIT Rolkala, uh, Computer Science Department, third year. Uh, I love watching Korean dramas, and uh, I find time for sketching and writing poems. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jagruti Patel from NIT Rolkala, third year EC. I'm an active member of Leo Club of NIT Rolkala, and I like painting. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Devan Shujan. I come from DISET. I just completed my second year. And my hobbies include watching movies, listening to music, and reading novels. My future goals include doing an MS. Good morning, everyone. I'm Janit Doshi from DICT. Uh, my non-technical interests include playing football and photography. I've been an active volunteer in IEEE since the last three years. Uh, there are uh, some people who have been doing six months internship here under a different program which Savinash Avde had uh, launched. We have some of them here. There's no harm in getting them introduced quickly like this. I'm Jaskiran Jeetkar from Riyadh Institute of Engineering and Technology, Real Majra. I've done my B.Tech and have been working since last four months under Professor uh, Fatak and Mr. Avinash Awate. 
it's been a privilege to work under uh, the guidance and it's been very good here. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Prabhnur Singh. I'm doing my BTEC in Computer Science from Riyadh Institute of Engineering and Information Technology, Rail Mahajra. It's been uh, four months. I'm working under Professor Fatak and Avinash Shavate under IIT Bombay X, a blended MOOC project. And it's really good and very much, uh, I've learned a lot. Thank you. This is Sanket Gaurav from Sikkim Manipal Institute of Technology. Uh, I, I love uh, playing cricket, reading novels and books. Good morning, everyone. I am Jitendra Nath Gupta from Amrita University, Coimbatore. Uh, my activities include, non-technical activities include, I like playing chess and reading novels a lot. Hello, friend. This is Sudhakar Yadu from NIT Raipur. I like to play cricket and badminton, and I like to play computer games. Good morning to everyone. My name is Banu Chandar. I am from Vignan Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. And my hobbies are playing cricket and badminton. Uh, can we very quickly go through all our senior managers who are going to guide different projects? Hello, everyone. Welcome to IIT Bombay. I am Dr. Mrs. Kiran Khosla. I am handling the school project, and we are preparing content for the school. OK? I wish you all the best for your project. I am Nagesh Karmali, and uh, I am part of the fundamental research group. So I'll be mentoring around five projects. Hello everybody, I'm Firuza Aybara. I'm a technical writer. I'm under Nagesh sir in the fundamental research group. Hello everyone, I'm Samir Sasrabudde. I'm the project manager for animated uh, related project, animation related projects. I'm an animator and a fine arts graduate. I, I love animation and painting. Thanks. I'm Pradeep Tiwari. I am a mentor for the Akash School for Education. Hello, I'm Rajesh Kushalka. I'm heading integrated development lab in ASL. Thank you. Good morning everyone, myself Mayank Paliwal. I'm coordinator for summer internship and I'm working here as a software engineer on Akash project as well as Iksiksha. So directly I'm not mentoring any project but uh, probably I will be helping in Iksiksha projects. Hello everyone, I'm Pankaj Patil. I'm working as project engineer in Akash school pilot project team. Uh, I will be helping in one of interns project for short duration. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Yugan Sharma. Uh, I'm appointed here as software engineer in Akash School Project, and I will be men mentoring group and peer-based uh, evaluation system. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Charu Chaudhary. I'm a junior software engineer here. Uh, I'll be co-mentoring the virtual labs project of internship. So thank you for that brief but exciting introduction. Uh, as you can see, you come from varied backgrounds with varied interests. The common thread which binds you all together is your desire to do something significant in pursuits of technology, particularly in electronics and computer science. Uh, we have been running this program for last five years almost. We started with about 20 people and uh, there used to be uh, impromptu applications from large number of people, so we used to handle that. Then my colleague Prasavina Shaute decided to standardize it and he set up a process with web-based applications and so on. More than 3,200 applicants this time. We selected about 160, out of which about 100 or 110 are here. The others have opted for a six-week uh, duration uh, internship. They will join us uh, slightly later. This internship is supported by the national mission. A lot of funding is being spent by the National Mission on, on, on this internship, so I'm sure you will take this very seriously. Many of you can actually afford to spend your parents' money, but our idea is that if you do some significant work, not only you enjoy doing that creative activity, you learn something, but you also contribute. And anybody who contributes should be recognized, not only in terms of a certificate, but also monetarily. Is, is about our contention. Let me share some of my thoughts with you which are of a generic nature. I may not get time again to spend with you till the very end. I will uh, try interacting with some of you, particularly those who will be working on the fundamental research group projects, uh, perhaps after 16th. But today I wish to share with you some of my ideas about education and career. All of you are part of that educational process. 
all of you have done well in your colleges unfortunately doing well in your examinations still continues to be the major filtering criteria that the society uses including iit bomb let me tell you i don't give a damn to your academic performance i have seen extremely brilliant people i have seen extraordinary academic performances in my 45 years of life here like you i also did my basic engineering from a college it was a good college i passed out from indore in 1969 but i got used to the conventional examination system that the universities continue to maintain even till today barring iits and nits and some autonomous institutions almost all our universities follow that system and what is that system you take an evaluation which becomes the cornerstone of all academic activities examinations because that is what will earn marks to students and that is what is their major focus almost all examinations are stereotype you will find a question paper which will say solve any 6 out of 10 questions is that common yes most questions are descriptive describe something explain something write short notes on something and a few examples or problems here and there that has been the unfortunate way of standardized examination pattern in the university and over 5000 engineering colleges in the country follow that system iits and nits are and and a few autonomous institutions understand the policy behind this i learned it in 69 when i came here my first exam conducted by professor isaac was announced as an open book exam 2 pm onwards i was quite surprised in my whole life i never had an open book exam and i never had an open time exam i went to ask him which book i can carry he says any number of books i carried six books that day i asked him up to what time can we write he says till either you go to sleep or i go to sleep 2 o'clock the paper started the paper did not have usual solve any 6 out of 10 problems the paper simply had problem 1 problem 2 problem 3 problem 4 and none of them had even the remotest resemblance to any solved or unsolved problem or any of the six books that i had carried i spent one hour in discovering that then i started solving those problems reading something isaac would move around his invigilation was very funny he would actually read what people were writing you make a mistake he'll give you a big slap on your back he said not that idiot you read that and again try to solve it and so on it was a very frustrating experience i could not get most of my problems uh, solved correctly i gave my paper at 6 pm that day and i was not not the last person out there was one more joker still sitting and attempt i felt very frustrated because i had done pretty well in academics conventionally in my university but here i was floored but later on i realized that in those 4 hours i probably learned more than what i would have learned for one full semester at home now that changed my thinking later on when i became a teacher here i realized the enormous autonomy that is granted to teachers here what i teach is the syllabus there is a printed syllabus but what i teach is the syllabus what i set is the question paper and the grade that i give is the final grade of the student that is the autonomy i enjoy my senate of this institute has given me that autonomy and that autonomy is preserved for last 45 years i am observing it is only enhanced i decide my schedule of examination i can conduct 20 quizzes in a semester i can conduct only two quizzes in a conventional mid sem i have to conduct an end sem but even that end sem could be different as we shall be we have been experiment flip classroom has been tried extensively in this institute you know what a flip classroom is a flip classroom is where you don't listen to lectures in the classroom and do homework at home but you listen to lectures at home and do homework in the classroom whole discussion sessions in the classes and that is because technology permits uh, lectures to be pre recorded which can be seen my colleague professor kannan who has been practicing it for last 5 years okay we had very funny experiences initially people did not listen to the lecture recorded lecture before coming to the class and you know there is a very funny logic given by the students and given by the teacher technically the institute demands that for a three lecture per week course which is a six grade course you are supposed to spend three hours in the lecture interaction that is the lecture sessions and you are supposed to spend three to five hours working at home on the assignment for that sub 
the fact of life is no student ever works diligently every week for 5 hours they usually work just before the quiz just before the assignment like all of you there is no difference between human beings in iit and human beings elsewhere so when we said you are supposed to spend 3 to 5 hours spend these 3 to 5 hours listening to the lectures they didn't listen to the lecture professor kannan then started conducting a quiz in the morning when you come for the lecture hour the lecture hour is supposed to be discussion the quiz was intended to find out whether you have heard that lecture or not so no deep technical thing initially people did not respond because he made that a zero mark quiz then he assigned one mark to that quiz and suddenly everybody started listening to the lecture like all students if there is a mark or evaluation which will contribute to my grade i am more alert than non currently he uses akash tablets to conduct quizzes he conducts three to four quizzes in every discussion session that he holds and what he has found over the years is that the amount of learning by the students has increased astronomically please understand that like all other teachers we also try to become better teachers most of us have realized that that is not adequate being a better teacher means probably preparing for your lecture more thoroughly covering all the points well explaining things well etc etc but that needs to be translated into better learning by the student which is an independent process so there is a pedagogy there is a method in in teaching and learning uh, introduced by the new technical innovations that are happening in education and we are practicing a whole lot of unfortunately a majority of the colleges i am sad to say including iits and nits even in my institute not all teachers use technology to the hilt that they ought to we do use a learning management system extensively moodle for example is used for all courses in fact now most of the teachers will not be able to conduct classes efficiently and effectively if moodle is not available for students to upload their assignments for students to participate in the group discussions and so on i hope most of your institutions use some learning management system like this uh, any any institute which does not have a learning management system can you raise your hand 1 2 3 it's number of places it is our endeavor to try and see whether the iit culture of using ict in education can flow out to the other institutions and equally to learn from other institutions where they are using ict more effectively in some dimension that we have we expect you to work as ambassadors of your institutions to do this two way transfer of knowledge you should share with us what technological innovations you use in your colleges so that we learn better and you should learn from iit bombay what we use so you can go back and tell your teachers encourage them to use them tell your administration to use that so that the teaching learning becomes more effective as i said at the beginning it is unfortunate that the society including iit bombay continues to give a tremendous weightage for your academic performance for the first filtering and that happens merely because of the scale you have 3000 applicants there is not a single iota of possibility for anyone to read 3000 long submissions even if i were to ask each one of the 3000 applicants to give a submission detailing why he or she is most suited for internship but if we could do that let me guarantee that not necessarily the best academic performers in the college would be selected you would agree that creative outburst is not limited to only top academic perform although top academic performers are not negatively inclined to do creativity so the inverse is not true. but that is sadly the only criteria that we have that is sadly the criteria that most of the employers put together and that is why you would all be trying to best your performance so that you get better job but other than that every human being is capable of doing reasonably complex logical things in life i have held it to the hilt i learnt it very early when i was teaching cs 101 in 1974 uh, when the same professor isaac who was my teacher who was head of the computer center and he was my course associate when i was teaching the course this is another thing that iit system taught, taught me there is absolutely no hierarchy the youngest teacher can order around the senior people who are his course associates for doing his bidding for conducting that tutorials and lapses
So I may be a very senior professor, but if I am a course associate or a young teacher, then I do exactly what that teacher orders me to do. That is the discipline that we follow. Anyway, I was telling you about this incident. I was tutorials used to be conducted in different rooms, and during the tutorial hour, I will go from room to room to just check whether everything is going on well or not. And one room where Professor Isaac was the tutor, I overheard a very heated discussion, so I stopped outside the room before entering, and I heard that one student was saying, "Sir, we are metallurgical engineering student." We cannot understand and do computer programming as well as electrical engineering students do. And Isaac was shouting at him that electrical engineering students have not fallen from the sky. Like you, they are all human beings. And then he asked a very curious question: Can you speak your mother tongue? And that fellow said, "Yes." Can you speak it as well as that electrical engineering joker can speak his mother tongue? He said, "Yes." Then he says, "Do you understand to learn a language?" a natural language a human language is far more difficult than learning a computer program that set me thinking and then i started analyzing what happens to us because this tremendous pressure of academic performance what is it that we lose so please try to recall the days when you were not attending any school between the age of 2 years to 5 years no school no classes no books no exams no marks yet during that time you learn a natural human language all on your own you could speak that language very fluently you could articulate your thoughts to your parents your brothers sisters friends perfectly well and you could understand what other people said no classes no exam no marks he got 90% marks he also studied his mother tongue as well as i studied my mother tongue although i later on got 40% marks what prompted me to do that what prompted him what prompted you to do that when there were no marks i will tell you my analysis my analysis is as children god has given us some phenomenal gift as human beings which are most manifest during our childhood one curiosity recall your two year to five year period or recall your nephews nieces and other uh, children that you would have seen two to five year old don't you see every child bubbling with enthusiasm bubbling with curiosity second is boldness the children ask questions all kinds of questions sometimes they ask embarrassing questions but they ask questions all of you did that when you went to the school you perhaps continue to ask questions for some time then somewhere a teacher like me would have said don't ask idiotic questions don't waste classes time so you stopped asking questions. how many of you continue to ask questions in your classes today at the same rate at which you ask questions when you were children practically none which means you have lost your boldness and because of that you have lost your curiosity because somebody who does please understand when a child asks questions it is not asking you or others it is asking itself when a child asks, when, when any one of us asks a question we are asking ourselves more than anything else but if we don't articulate that question our curiosity will be lost so curiosity boldness two very very fundamental fundamental thing and the third very fundamental thing which the god has given which we enjoy as children probably some of us do that even now but most of us don't and that is the ability to persevere not to give up have you ever seen a child which has decided to do something in spite of parents saying don't do it particularly naughty thing have you ever seen a child giving it up suppose a child wants to wants to pick up this pen and throw it down and when it breaks the child will enjoy start laughing you agree all children love that except that this stupid pen is on this table the child will come from this side that side try to climb up fall down three times four times once maybe the mother will catch the child mother will ask it to stand in a corner child will cry stand in the corner for two minutes and then after two minutes it will look here and there and again come back and finally it will pull up some chair stand up fall again one or twice but will finally stand up on this table take this pen throw it and when it breaks the child will dance with joy when did you last dance with such joy i am not suggesting climb up on tables and throw pen but i am suggesting have you lost that enjoyment that thrill of getting something done after failing tens of times look at the kind of technical problem that you solve from your book i am sure in the first year when you joined fresh from the school you would attempt to solve all problems okay then slowly you would realize being smart people that the examinations have only these kind of problem 
So you solve problem 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 13, 21. Then you will become one more level of cleverness. Oh, the questions are repeated from previous exams. What are important questions? This, this, this. You realize only 6 out of 10 questions are to be solved. I am not blaming you. I did all of that when I was doing my undergraduate. I perfected the technique so well that in my fourth and final year, it was a five-year degree program, I hardly had to study. I had enough time to do all the nice things that you said, swimming, chess, dramatics, everything, everything. I didn't have to study, yet I scored good marks. Only when I came to IIT, I found out that if I want to spend time in swimming, if I want to spend time in chess, I can do that, but I must also spend time in studies in a different way, in solving problems, in discussing, in arguing. Rediscover the child in you. Except one thing, the child does not have the humility and the child does not have ethics. Child is arrogant, child wants everything for oneself, child doesn't share. We have to teach child to share. We have to teach child to behave, to say sorry, to say please, to say thank you. Why? Because these are human values. These are human societal values. These are not natural animalistic values. And we belong to a human society. I personally feel that the ideal combination is when we rediscover the child in us to have an insatiable curiosity, tremendous boldness and the ability to persevere coupled with significant ethical standards and great humility. I think that would make a great person. That is what the objective of the education is by the way. Education is not just about doing technical things. Education is about becoming a better person a better contributor to the society. And in that, the people who have done well conventionally have a greater responsibility. So your performance in your college, which is better, makes you entitled for certain privileges, but puts a tremendous burden on your shoulders to do something extraordinary. Okay. Let's talk about ordinary and extraordinary. To begin with, all people are ordinary because they have not scored any marks. Then they start scoring marks and on that basis some people are called extraordinary. All of you who are here are extraordinary in that sense. What should be the objective of teachers and of institutions? Such as IIT Bombay or such as the institutions where you study and such as the teachers who teach you. I have a rather simplified formula. My simplified formula says that a teacher's primary job, the primary job of an academic institution is to make ordinary people perform extraordinarily and to make extraordinary people achieve the impossible. If that cannot be done, then we have failed as teachers, we have failed as institutions. Now this has to be done over and above your own innate capabilities, your own aptitudes. There are aptitudes. For example, computer programming is conventionally taught to all engineering students. Because how many students in your first year you remember who could not pass because they could not program well? Many. Do you seriously believe that they were useless people? Some of them would have tremendous talents everywhere, somewhere else. They just did not have the programming aptitude. People speak of music so highly. I am also interested in music, but no matter how much I struggle, I can never be able to sing like Mukesh or Mohammad Rafi. It's not possible. I just don't have that aptitude. So your aptitude, your innovative ideas, your creativity, your boldness and your perseverance will together decide what you do. Some of you do very well in the academics. Some of you are smart enough, you can solve problems faster. And faster problem solving is fundamental in modern competitive examination. 100 multiple choice questions, somebody who can tick fast wins. Whether it is joint entrance exam or GATE or, or J, JRE or whatever, whatever you call it. You know the famous joke in the IIT system, Einstein would never have been admitted to IIT. Because he was known to be a slow thinker. He could not have cracked J.E. Guaranteed. But not a single IITN has done even 10% of what Einstein achieved at the end. So, institutions do matter. But what matters most is what you do. And what you do with your time, what you do with your energy. I am sorry to have taken a lot of time, but I, I firmly believe in, in whatever I have just shared. And I would like each one of you to think about it, reflect upon it, and, and live accordingly. Your energy levels have to high. By the way, when I talk about academics and, and technology, that's not the only thing. Your energy levels should be very high in all respects. That is where I, I see a significant difference between the IIT system and many other institutions. 
IIT kids do not spend extraordinary time in only academics. When they do Mood Indigo, they spend exactly as much time and energy in organizing Mood Indigo. When they do Tech Fest, you might have heard of these Tech Fest and Mood Indigo, the world famous festivals now. 40, 50,000 students from all over the world or all over the country definitely, but many from international places do arrive here. And the entire organization is done by students, entire organization, including fundraising, including accounting, including arranging for transport, arranging for everything, everything, everything is done by students. Students work tirelessly for that. With the same tireless zeal, they will work on debating competitions, whatever. The point is, whatever you do, you must spend enormous energy in doing that. And you must enjoy every moment of it. If you don't, that would be terrible. With this backdrop, I welcome you to the summer internship program. We have had multiple projects here. We have been trying to identify mentors. You heard some of the managers, many are not here. Please understand that most of the managers and the software professionals are working on their own projects. They have tough deadlines for which they are working, okay? And they have delivered. To tell you two or three of the important projects which IIT Bombay undertakes on behalf of the national mission, one is the T10KT program where we train 10,000 teachers at a time. Some of your institutions are our remote center where these 10,000 teachers assemble. They can't come to IIT Bombay, obviously. So we assemble them at 250 to 300 remote centers for two weeks intensive training. During those two weeks, the lectures are delivered from IIT Bombay interactively using AVU. My video team is here, which handles the AVU transmission. People can ask questions from anywhere, from any remote center. Their questions are heard by all 10,000 people. They are seen by all 10,000 people. Our answers are seen by all 10,000 people. So we have some kind of a simulated classroom. We've been perfecting this technique for over five years. We spend as many as six crore rupees per workshop for 10,000 teachers. Government of India pays that money to train 10,000 teachers at a time in a subject. You might think it's a lot of money, right? It works out to about 6,000 rupees per participant. The standard budget approval of AICT to conduct a two-week training program, which is traditionally held for 35, 40 teachers in a place, the budget is 14,000 rupees per participant. By scaling up and by using technology, we have reduced that cost to less than half. And we are further reducing it by half by starting a new model where we say that out of the two weeks of participation in the workshop, you will come face to face only for one week. But one week equivalent of work you, you will do spread over five weeks before the main workshop, one day per week online. So we are using the massive online uh, open courseware technology or online technology to, and uh, we have found curiously that that is far more effective than just two weeks face to face. Much of the money is spent in travel, stay, food, accommodation, such mundane things. Very little money is spent on actual training. Same thing is true here when you do summer internship. The cost of conducting a summer internship is less in terms of the technical inputs. They come from my colleagues, although overburdened, they are enthusiastic because they hope that the work that you will do will contribute to their own activities and their own delivery. But the major cost for you is to travel from your place to here, to spend money on food, to spend money on accommodation. Imagine you were to share a, a rented accommodation outside in Mumbai. Your parents will say, no more internship in IIT Bombay, go to Jharsuguda or Khachro or someplace. I think you should all be thankful for the national mission. When I propose that we should run this summer internship under this project, the project has approved funding to spend on this. Although I must tell you that uh, my colleague Mr. Ravina Shaute has been driving these numbers crazy. When I had obtained the permission formally from the ministry, it was for 40 people. We are about four times that. But fortunately, I seem to have some credibility. The ministry does not ask me too many questions and I do not have to answer them. As long as what is being done is being done for the common good, for the public good, and it creates some assets. So needless to add, whatever work you do, will go in the public domain, in open source. We have a penchant for releasing all knowledge in open source, all our activities, all our generated code. It also puts a great responsibility on you because when your code goes in the open source, in public domain, for public gaze, your name will be there. 
Now, if your code is not written well, or if it does not do what you promise it to do, people will know whom to come and bash. We'll, we'll truthfully put your names there. Of course, these days the course get intrinsically intermixed because a large group of people are, are working on it, but that is okay with us. The main thing is for me that you should learn much more than what you have learned so far. And you should be able to do your creative bidding. Surely there will be directions given by the managers and by the others saying, we want this. But ordinarily we will say, this is the functionality that we want. Ordinarily we will not impose the design unless some design, some base design has already been made. But even then you should feel free to come up with your own idea. Your creative ideas could be valuable provided they are thought out well, they are articulated well, they are written well and they are presented well. Please understand that when you examine 100 ideas, only two might turn out to be finally useful. But you do not know which two in advance, so you have to examine all 100. That is what our teams keep doing it and you would like, we would like you to aid them and also in the process learn something about how such creative things is done. Most of your work will relate to coding. Some of you have electronics background, they will be working with Rajesh on uh, some aspects of uh, hardware design. There will be additional problems, let me tell you, uh, because of whole lot of workshops that we are conducting. Uh, by the way, I told you about T10KT workshop, these 10,000 teachers who work at 300 different locations. Now, as I said, we conduct lectures in the interactive lectures in the morning. In the afternoon, these teachers who assemble at remote centers do their tutorials and lab sessions in the local remote center. And that is done under the supervision of a workshop coordinator. Now, how do we make sure that these labs and tutorials are conducted in the same rigorous way as we do them in IIT? Where they are being conducted by 300 different people. To ensure that we do a fancy stuff, we appoint these 300 workshop coordinators three months in advance. And we get them to IIT Bombay for one week. All 300, 250, 200, whatever the number, we get them here for one week. And we make them do exactly the same labs, same tutorials that they will have to supervise later. This is much like how we train our teaching assistants or how we conduct our coordination uh, 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 sessions for teaching associates who could be our teachers. We do exactly the same thing. I am going to discuss these tutorial problems tomorrow. People will raise issues, people will contribute, people will discuss, people will solve those problems, people will decide on how to explain those problems to students. That is how IIT Bombay works, that is how we make them. Now these coordinators workshops are typically held in the month of May at IIT Bombay and IIT Kharagpur, which is our partner institute. And the main workshop for 10,000 teachers are held from in, in the month of June, typically. In a nutshell, a large number of coordinators workshops are scheduled while you are here in the month of May. Now, all of them have to do their labs in the afternoon, which means the labs in which you will be working will not be available in the afternoons for those days. As an added attraction, the, my department has decided that they will conduct an online exam for RAs and uh, 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 MTech RAs and others, PhD RAs. So that means that even the workshop coordinators uh, will not be able to do their labs in the afternoon, so their labs will have to be done in the morning, so that means the whole day is off for you. I will announce those dates tomorrow by an email to all of you, so that you can plan on sightseeing or something. After all, you are not going to get too many holidays, so you can enjoy that holiday. Incidentally, Saturday, Sunday, declared holidays, etc., etc., they don't affect our life. Our concept about holiday is very clear. If I don't feel like working for any reason, whether I am unwell, or even I don't feel like working, I am entitled for a chutti. No, we don't run a police raj here. However, if you don't feel like working day after day after day, I shall have a strong private talk with you. But the point is very clear. Whenever you are working, you have to work in a disciplined fashion. That is why I was a bit perturbed when we could not start at 9.30. A 9.30 lecture in IIT Bombay starts at 9.30, it does not start at 9.32. Now, just as some of my colleagues came late, I could see some of the students were coming late. This is perfectly fine because on the first day, you have not anticipated how long it takes to travel from your hostel or place of residence to this. But you have settled down between two or three days, I suppose. After that, you should be able to factor this time. One of the problems, one of the great differences between a developed society and a developing society 
is the set of few values which are critical to the developed society. One is penchant for information sharing. You will get absolutely all information perfectly given for any occasion before you go there. Second is timing. So as I said, 9.30 does not mean 9.31. 9.30 means 9.29 or at the most 9.30. And 9.30 does not mean you are entering the lab at 9.30. It means you are starting work at 9.30. This is the discipline we would like all of you to follow, not now, but for the rest of your life. Because as professionals, you are going to interact with the global community. And the global community does not say, Are, five minutes me are. Oh, nahi chalta hai. Five minutes pehle chalta hai, five minutes baad me nahi chalta hai. So this is something that I would like you to do. Uh, I must also, before concluding, tell you two things. Uh, our primary motivation in conducting these programs, just as our primary motivation in teaching at IIT Bombay, is to ensure that a large number of trained and dedicated manpower and woman power is available to build this nation in coming years. So, of course, some of you, like our friend Sanjana, might want to go somewhere else in the world to do your masters or something. You are most welcome to do that. This is a free country. But I particularly discourage such thoughts. Since you are free to do that, you are most welcome to do it. But do not expect any recommendation later for admission to any Firang institution from me. I think it was made clear on the website. I have not done it in 40 years of my life. I have made exactly two exceptions. Uh, one exception, I'll tell you why I made that. Mohuntan was one of my students and he was applying to uh, uh, US and I said, I will not give. He said, you have to give me. I said, you should work for the nation at least for three years. I had put a condition. You contribute at least for three years and then you do whatever you want to do. He said, sir, I come from Sri Lanka. And I said, you go back to Sri Lanka and work there for three years. He says, I would love to, but if I go to Sri Lanka, I'll be killed because I'm a Tamil. And to serve my nation, I should be alive. So permit me to be alive and still stand. So I, I gave that exceptional uh, uh, recommendation letter I had given, but otherwise I don't. Although I would like to very actively encourage you to do your master's and PhD if you really want to do extraordinary studies further in any one of the uh, Indian educational systems, and if you require a recommendation later, I will be personally privileged to write a strong recommendation. Unlike 40 years ago, 30 years ago, 50 years ago, there is nothing that cannot be done in India to the best and, and to, to be comparable to whatever is the best in the world. There are many people who are proving it time and again, time and again. You just have to have your conviction that you can do whatever you wish to do by staying here. Because when you stay here and work, indirectly and directly you contribute to building this nation. And it's absolutely essential to build this nation. In the 21st century, we already lost a whole lot of time. For first 50 years, we adopted economic policies which were completely sad. People did not understand. There's a good side to it. It made for equality, supposedly. It made for taking care of the people who could not take care of themselves. But in the process, we forgot that to do all that we require to generate wealth and wealth cannot be distributed unless it is generated as Nani Palkival. Wealth generation was always respected in this nation. Even Chanakya said it 4,000 years ago. We sort of forgot it. From 1991, when uh, under the leadership of uh, uh, P.V. Narsimha Rao, when the country changed tax and we are now following a free market economy. Not everything is hunky-dory with free market economy. Please don't cheat yourself into believing that either this ism or that ism or that method or that method is perfect. There is no one solution fit all. But we need to struggle to find out a solution. And we need to struggle to find a solution which will generate enough wealth, which will generate enough employment, for which we must generate entrepreneurship. All of this has to be done by whom? By people like you and me. And people like you have a greater responsibility, as I said, because increasingly, the wealth generating engines of a society depend on knowledge, depend on technical knowledge. So people who are technically capable like you automatically have to fulfill a greater responsibility. Whether you work for a company, whether you have your own entrepreneurship, whatever you do, if when you do it here, you contribute a lot, both directly and indirectly. 
and that is the wish of many of my colleagues like me i am particularly you know old man's idiosyncrasy so bottom line is no recommendation letters please don't even ask because that asking will be embarrassing of course i will repeat this is a free country and you are absolutely free to pursue your own thoughts anywhere in the world i wish the world becomes one country some day but till such time that there are national boundaries i say the following i love all human beings but i love indians a bit more and i would like to work for indians i would like all of you to work for indians if that is feasible but that is up to you so do your training well and enjoy life thank you so much avi would you like to say something